on what should be a fascinating night of British title boxing. We're underway. Aaron certainly will look to uh, keep it long, use those natural advantages. So we'll be up to Webb to try and uh, get inside and mix it up a little bit. Well, Webb's early tactics on the move is low, uh, he wants to maybe fight in little bursts, stay out of range, but then just come in, get the punches off, and then back out again. Maybe until the, the pace slows a little bit. He's going to have to be careful not to burn up too much energy. Not really producing anything with, with these tactics. There's a lot of head movement, upper body movement. So we'll see if it starts working. The assumption always, Jim, is when you've got a guy that's got the height and the, uh, the reach advantage, that all the all the advantages are in their camp. But there is, there is a school of thought that says actually harder to punch downwards, it's easier to punch upwards and, and that can work in Webb's favour. Yeah, well Mike Tyson certainly made a height difference, a disadvantage throughout his career because he knew how to deal with it. But uh, that's, that's not the kind of fighter uh, Webb is. He's very technically proved that last time out. And you can see he's thinking what he's doing, you can see he does have a fight plan that he's brought in with him. But I think he realises the long arms and the quick punches of Aaron will be a real problem for him. He's not really getting any punches home himself yet. He's been training with bean poles. They're all over six foot. They have to be. See, I think the problem is just that we're only in the opening round, but Aaron is boxing at his own pace. He's not been hassled, he's not been pressurised. And uh, nothing that Webb has done has drawn any mistakes from him this early. So he's keeping his composure for a young man and uh, starting pretty confidently. Yeah, got the centre of the ring. I'm happy to stay there. And we're happy to just sort of buzz around on the outside. And we'll bring a little bit of pressure to bear. Getting through there. Bit of a smile from the challenger as a right hand lands. This is going to be tactical and technical, isn't it? As we expected. Yeah, well, you can see that Webb's prepared for this. You can see he's expecting problems. He knows it's not going to be easy. Put a lot of thought into the opening round. Just for just one little bust, and that was about it. That's better from him. So maybe not enough to split them in the opening. The opponent is quick on his feet. So he can pull the head out of range but not the body. It's just been a scouting mission from both men in the opener. So we'll see who gets the first foothold. I just wonder about these tall guys, what their punch resistance is like around the midsection. Absolutely no padding there at all. If he gets hit in the midsection, he's going to absorb all of it. Yeah, well, being a Bob Shannon uh, fighter, we don't expect uh, physical condition to be a problem, stamina <laughs> or toughness. So we expect to be in great shape. Uh, that's uh, Shannon has proved that over the last couple of years. Uh, he said his career has really taken off since uh, coming under Bob Shannon's wing. Winning prize fighter. And stopping the Haile Kotai last time out. Now, Kotai is nobody's fool. If you're stopping him, and I think indeed uh, Aaron was the first man to do that, then you're clearly stepping up your power. I mean, as I said earlier, Jim, he's kind of growing into his body a little bit now, isn't he? Yeah, he's becoming more confident. As I said, he has the physical advantages, but he's beginning to learn now how to use them. Some decent work from Webb here. He's trying to get two and three punches out together, but really no big problems to be solved out here tonight. Aaron probing with the jab, but not really landing anything. It was better. There's a lot of fainting and parrying going on. And, man, you just, just catch yourself watching Sam Webb's head, the lateral movement that's going on there at the moment. See, I think Webb's going to have to bring his right hand into play. You know, 
throw a couple of punches on the way in. I think he's trying to get close and then punch. I think Webb's going to have to punch as he moves forward. And uh, Aaron's going to have to do pretty much what he's been doing, just try to time the jabs as Webb comes forward. Good technical stuff here, a bit better from Webb, I feel. Beginning to impose himself, get some more punches off, look that little bit busier. Yeah, Webb. First signs that the experience of Webb may be showing itself. Well, we saw this in his defence against Martin Conception. He, he just bamboozled him, didn't he? And in the end, just wore him down psychologically as much as anything. Yeah, he looked as though he was happy to win a punch. Well, this is good for, for Webb. He's putting punches together, and that is the first thing you have to do with this kind of opponent. Single shots? No. Good little flurry there from Webb. And uh, in contrast, Aaron uh, looking reluctant at the moment to throw too many punches. Clean shot at the moment is proving very difficult for the challenger. Well, what I have noticed when Webb lands some punches, Aaron with pride and a little bit of match, he wants to come straight back. A lovely shot. This is good stuff from Webb. Yep. Round three, and in that last uh, one minute interval, Bob Shannon, the trainer of Prince Aaron, was saying, Work behind your jab. I mean, that is the huge natural advantage that Prince Aaron has here. He's got to make it work for him. See, what I have noticed, when Webb lands a, a punch or a little burst, Aaron wants to come straight back at him immediately. That's a little bit of a weakness. Sometimes, you know, the, you can expose yourself. So maybe just uh, if you get caught with a couple of shots, just get your head cool again and then come back. So that's something that Webb could capitalise on. Yeah, this is clever from Webb. He, he, he's dragging Aaron into the kind of boxing match that he wants him into. He's getting him out of his rhythm, getting him away, as you say, Jim, from, from what he does well. And that's half the battle half the time. Well, the plan is to, to, to force opponents to lead. Don't wait until they're ready to lead. If you want to counter, faint at them, cause them to lead when they're not all 100% ready to do so, then you'll counter them easier. And we're seeing some good technique from Webb at the moment. Not an awful lot of big dramatic punches been landed, but good technique from the champion. Cheeky stuff now. Oh, look how low his hands are, and he still isn't getting hit. He's daring Aaron to just unload on him, and Aaron won't do it, because there's so much body movement. His head's bobbing around all over the place, and Aaron doesn't quite know where he's going at the moment. He's throwing punches at shadows. See, Aaron knows what well, Webb's trying to con him into, so he's trying to come up with something else, but this really is good stuff from Webb, you can appreciate it, it's not dramatic in the slightest, but you can appreciate really good technique like this. A few more punches landed, of course it would be better. That's what you've got to like about uh, Sam Webb. You know, we heard Jamie Moore talk about it in the studio, he, he's such a, a thinking man's boxer. He messes with your mind as much as anything else. Yeah, well, that's what he's doing here. I mean, Aaron wants to throw punches, but can't really decide when to throw them or how much snap to put into them. So he's halfway moving back as he throws the punches, so there's no sting in them. Aaron's going to have to step in with some shots. He's just, been, believe it or not, he's been all manned out of this. There's a seven years difference in their age, and it's looking that at the moment, although not seven years in experience. He's growing in confidence with every passing second here, Sam Webb. And uh, Prince Aaron, in contrast, has got a bit of a furrow in the brow at the moment. What's going on? How do I work this out? We thought it would be the other way that uh, the problems would be Webb trying to work this fella out. It's the other way at the moment as Webb looks to unload at uh, the end of this round. Yeah, I thought Aaron would have won the early rounds and then Webb would be clawing back, but that's not the case. Terrific round for Webb. Through those first three rounds, you just get the sense that Webb is, is just flowing at the moment. That this is going exactly as it was planned, exactly as they drew it up in training. And Aaron, in contrast, is trying to work out what's going on right now. There's a lot of movement in what Webb is doing. That's another reason he'll be feeling the, the temperature rising in here. 
So he just has to be careful if you're using up that much steam, you want to be winning the rounds. I have him winning the last two, which is a better start for Webb than I expected. Just a little bit cautious, Aaron. He knows what's expected, he knows what he wants to do, but he can't pin this fellow down. Having real trouble working this out. And you, can, you, can, you can sense it from the fact that he's almost reluctant to pull the trigger on that jab. Just looking for the opening, looking to try and make something happen, but he knows that there's so much movement going on with Webb. There's a very good chance if he throws it, it's going to land on thin air. Yeah, and he knows if he commits himself and makes a mistake, that was a little bit better. He knows he's going to be punished for it. So it's a catch-22 situation, there's a good little response from Webb there. Oh, terrific, so clever, he's yeah. smiling now. And, and a, a, a bit of verbal's going on in there as well, not for the first time. Yeah, some mind games now from Webb. Produces good work and then makes sure Aaron appreciates it and knows about it. He's clever, there's no question about it. He's a very, very smart thinking boxer. That was decent, decent little left hook came in from Prince Aaron there. Got him first. It hasn't happened too often for him. He's trying to lead off now as he tried to come forward there, but uh, all these little feints that are so important, just keeping him off balance. But still using up a fair bit of steam in what he's doing, Webb. Technical mouse battle going on. This is a little bit better though for uh, Prince Aaron. It's a very good point you make though, Jim. There's a lot of energy being expended by Sam Webb. Yeah, there's non stop movement as a matter of fact. Whereas Aaron is pretty steady, just punching when he wants to punch. Uh, not a great work rate from him. He's a little bit tense, Aaron, which also takes a little bit of energy, but I think the heat in here tonight could have a bearing on the later rounds. 